Hello, I'm JW, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at measurement categories. Now you've probably seen these uh, on uh, multimeters and other devices, and have a look at the bottom of this particular one. You see at the bottom there it says uh, rating is 600 volts, and it also says CAT3. And the uh, 600 volts is uh, pretty obvious, that's the maximum voltage uh, that you should be using on, so obviously you wouldn't go and measure something of say 800 volts with that, because of course that's more than the 600. And again, that uh, voltage can vary depending on the device you're using. But the uh, category one underneath, which uh, can be from one to four, it's certainly less obvious. So uh, let's have a look at those and uh, see what they actually mean. Now I've got a selection of uh, multimeters here, and all of them uh, are rated up to 1,000 volts uh, DC. And uh, in some cases, 750 AC and 500 volts there. And this one is 600. And uh, this one again is 500 or uh, 750. So they're all perfectly capable of measuring the mains voltage, uh, certainly at the sort of 240 volts level, and even at the uh, three-phase service, which would be in the sort of 400, 415 area. However, just because the voltage is correct or within the range, that doesn't mean it's appropriate to use these things to measure in those situations. Now, these three here are fairly old, so they don't have actual uh, ratings on anyway, because that's prior to the uh, rating existing. But you can buy plenty of cheap multimeters today, those sort of uh, £3.50 things on eBay, for example, which will quite happily state on the front that they can measure for five, 600 volts and more. But of course those are not suitable for measuring the mains with. Now this particular one here, which uh, happens to be the norm with a rating on that I've got, is a Category 3 rating. Well, again, it's uh, 600 volts there. And the category uh, refers to the distance that you are from the source of the supply. So the closer you are to the source, the higher the category number you would need. So the highest number is actually a category 4, and that would represent the situation at an uh, entrance to the building where the main power comes in, all the way down to category 1, which uh, is really not intended for connection to the mains at all. And as well as the meter itself, or whatever measuring device you're using, it's also essential to make sure that the probes that you're plugging into this also have a uh, similar rating on them. And here's uh, an example of a probe here, and you see it's just printed on the end cap there. And you see this one is rated uh, category 3 at 1000 volts and also category 4 at 600 volts. And this has the uh, removable cover here, so if I take the cover away, you see underneath it's only rated category 2 at 1000 volts. And this is to do with the amount of exposed metal at the end here, so the fact it's got that great long uh, section of metal there. And obviously when you put the cover over that's just covering it and only leaving that very small piece exposed there. And the standards in question are actually go into considerably more detail, but uh, certainly if you're going to be dealing with uh, high energy sources, such as the uh, Category 4 area, you most certainly do not want large amounts of exposed metal, because that's exactly the kind of thing that can encourage an arc to form. And uh, if an arc does form, of course, it's uh, going to cover across that entire area, whereas if you've got a small tiny piece of metal exposed, uh, far less likely to get an arc in the first place, and even if you do get one it's going to be uh, obviously contained within the very tip of the probe there. So uh, generally you'll find that the higher rated ones only have a very small section of metal at the end like that. And again there's the uh, black one there similarly, so say without the cover on it's only rated to category 2, and of course category 4 with the cover on the end. And the other thing on test leads as well is to look for the uh, symbol on here which indicates that it's double insulated. So in other words the uh, wire inside has a covering of insulation and then there's a second covering insulation over the top of that. This particular one uh, obviously is, it's got the symbol there and the wire is the uh, relevant style and type which has that uh, twin covering over it. And again that's all to do with the uh, voltage rating because of course a single insulation uh, has a lower rating than a double type. And the other thing at the end here is that the uh, ends here should be uh, fully shrouded like these ones so that you can't actually uh, touch any exposed metal in there. It's all fully enclosed right down inside. So the only way you can make any contact is when you've actually placed it into the meter socket like that. And again, you see these sockets are again fully shrouded varieties. You can't actually get your finger or anything down in there. And when it's plugged in there, you see that uh, plastic shrouding goes all the way down the outside, so the actual connection, again, is fully covered over, and there's no way of uh, any uh, contact getting in there. It's all totally enclosed. So what I've drawn here is the uh, basic sort of supply arrangement that may come into your house or similar property. So I've got the uh, transformer, which of course will be outside somewhere, 
and uh, the wires will come into your house and there's normally some kind of fuse or other cut out there and an electricity meter and all of this side of this will be a category 4 situation and it's at this point where you've got the most energy available because if uh, the uh, line and neutral were shorted together of course there's a very uh, short path back to the transformer so a lot of energy is available there and so a short circuit there is going to create a short circuit current of many thousands of amps that is going to be extremely dangerous and the only real protection you've got is possibly the fuse that comes into the building though of course in some cases that may not uh, be applicable if you uh, sort of create a default uh, on the other side of the fuse there so category four is the sort of main incoming position after this course you're going to have your fuse box or consumer unit with your sort of circuit breaks and things in and again the wires then will go off to your individual circuits and the uh, position here is uh, generally going to be a category three Again, if you're going to cause a uh, fault here, it's still going to be uh, fairly severe, but you've got the additional protection of the uh, length of the wires uh, between you and the source, so the impedance is, of course, greater. So any uh, short circuit fault here, the actual fault current would be less. And also you've got the actual uh, circuit breakers and other devices uh, as protection as well, so uh, of course they should switch off in the case of any fault and limit the amount of energy that uh, can occur there. So that's category three. And then, of course, further down the line, you can have your individual circuits, so you may have sort of socket outlets or lighting circuits or whatever else. And in those situations, that's going to be a category two. And again, as with the others, you're now much further away from the source of the energy here. So again, the impedance is going to be considerably greater. And again, the fault current there will be less than here and, of course, less than here. So as you're moving away from the source of the supply, the impedance increases and the fault current, of course, will decrease. And of course, then corresponding the uh, risk to uh, actually anyone testing things there is reduced as well. These boundaries don't aren't uh, specifically uh, defined like this because, for example, a uh, socket outlet sort of right at the uh, distribution board will still be a category three situation. So it all depends on the actual distance away that you're going. And again, if you sort of poked about the uh, consumer unit and managed to short out the incoming terminals there, well, that's probably going to be a category four because again you're only sort of moving into this uh, section here so although i've put the lines there those are not sort of uh, set in stone as it were they're just sort of general guidelines as to the distance you're moving away from the source and generally the more protective devices you have as you move further away and certainly in the uk if you were going to say plug an item in here it would obviously have a fuse in the plug so again you've got fuse here circuit breakers and again the main incoming fuse as well now category one isn't shown here because uh, category one is really things that are not intended to be connected directly to the main supply and uh, category one devices would normally be appliances and other equipment which though may have a connection into a say socket outlet actually inside the device the energy available there is going to be extremely limited because uh, first of all you're going to have uh, say in the uk certainly a fuse in the plug there say a three amp fuse or something if it's like a television or something and inside the equipment of course it's normally going to have a separate uh, power supply in there and though you may have some fairly high voltages in there sort of in the many hundreds of volts say if it was a plasma television the amount of energy inside is actually extremely limited so even if you shorted out the supply in the back of your plasma tv it's not going to do a great deal because though you might have say three or four hundred volts there the energy available in that is extremely small of course you may well damage the uh, television but it's not going to cause any kind of explosion or uh, any major problem Conversely, if you uh, shorted out the supply back here, although the voltage might only say be sort of 240, the amount of energy available in that is uh, considerable, many thousands of amps, and therefore the total energy is more than enough to cause a huge blast and uh, what's called an arc flash. That's extremely dangerous and uh, it's inevitably going to cause serious injury and even death. Now, I can't obviously demonstrate uh, arc flash in this video because I don't have any of the equipment to do it, but I put a link in the uh, description for this video of what an arc flash actually looks like. It was done in uh, controlled conditions in a laboratory, so obviously there's no uh, persons were injured in it. But it does give you an idea of the uh, kind of issues that can occur if you were to cause a uh, fault in uh, this kind of area. And uh, pretty obviously, if you're look at that video, it's uh, not the sort of place you're gonna be wanting to be standing next to. And one way that the uh, rating of devices is determined on, their, say, multimeters like this one here with the uh, Category 3 rating, which would be suitable for use in the consumer unit situation or beyond there, 
is that the uh, motor image itself will have uh, high capacity fuses in there which are capable of breaking the extremely high fault currents which can occur in uh, these sort of situations. And of course cheap motor meters don't actually have uh, fuses in in many cases or if they do they're those sort of cheap nasty little glass things which are really totally useless and in those cases if you were say connecting across a uh, main supply in error and shorting out it's fairly likely that the uh, cheap motor meter will explode in a ball of flames and of course any kind of resulting arc certainly at this level can continue to burn away there causing serious injury and fire. And the other point as well is that certainly at this kind of level at the sort of category 4 areas where you've got a substantial amount of uh, fault energy available it's all very well using the uh, proper test equipment and probes but uh, certainly here you ought to be wearing uh, protective clothing as well because in the event of some kind of fault you uh, certainly don't want to be uh, exposed to uh, burning metal and uh, large amounts of arc energy. And so if you have a look at that uh, video in the uh, link in the description you'll see why that's uh, actually important. So uh, face shield and uh, flame proof clothing really are essential when uh, working in this kind of area. So a quick look there at measurement categories and uh, though most multimeters can easily measure up to a thousand volts that certainly does not mean that they're appropriate to go poking around in a distribution cabinet or similar. The uh, category rating is the one that's actually important there and the higher the category then that's basically the nearer to the source of energy that you are so a category 4 would be suitable for measuring say inside a consumer unit or an electricity meter or basically where the power comes into the building but uh, a meter that's only say a category 2 or even a category 1 is certainly not suitable for that and certainly the category 1s are not intended to be connected to the main supply at all. And the other point as well is that just because the device you're using such as the uh, multimeter or whatever happens to have the rating on it's also very important to make sure that the test probes you're using also have the same or greater rating because of course you can get the best rating in the world but uh, if you plugged in a load of rubbishy probes that were only rated say 50 volts and uh, had massive exposed bits of metal and whatever on then clearly that's going to cause a problem. So until next time thanks for watching.